Hello everyone. Today I want to make a video <laughs> about fighting with your boyfriend when you're pregnant. Girl, you're not the only one. And honestly, I was thinking about making this video last night. Because, you know, me and my boyfriend have been arguing this week, okay? And, you know, it's getting a little, a little stressful. And I just want y'all to know, if you're in this position, you're not alone. Girl, me too. <laughs> okay? Now, here's the thing, everybody. You know, people argue. Couples argue. You know, we're humans. Um, you know, if you love somebody, you gotta try your best to respect them during the argument. And I need to work on that. Um, cause I did call him names and I shouldn't have done that. Like a bitch. And he didn't like that. <laughs> and I, I, I shouldn't have done that. Don't, don't be like me. Don't do that. Okay. Now I know, that, I know I got this headband on my head, but I'm trying to flatten my, my bangs. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you my belly. <laughs> so y'all believe me. I'm pregnant. Well, anyway, um, I'm having a boy if anyone cares but um just wanted to let y'all know like you're not alone because you know sometimes you know I don't tell people about my relationship problems most of the time because I don't want to put that stress on other people I feel like it's kind of a personal thing but you know when it comes to the internet I feel like it could be like a safe space in some sort of sense because it's like I don't know you you don't know me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fine if you know. You don't even know who the fuck I am. You know? So, let's hold hands. We're gonna be fine, bitch. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> and if you're a baby daddy and you're fighting with your girlfriend, we're gonna be fine, bitch. I'm just saying. Because I know sometimes. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Having a baby is hard. Sometimes, I went to the gym, like I just started going to the gym, like, during my pregnancy again, after two years of not going. Um, I used to go regularly, but I had this fallout thing because I was getting, like, my knees start getting really sore and my back was so fucked up. But now, I've been going to the chiropractor, I feel better. So I decided to start going again, but um, it's been hard. But anyway, um, sorry. Having a baby sometimes makes you out of breath just talking. Just talking and you're like, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> you know? I was like, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, that's really it. Um, if you want to tell me what's going on, stranger to stranger, let me know in the comments, bitch. I want to hear your story. Because, you know, sometimes it's just good to let out some stress. And if you don't have anyone to talk to or you just don't feel comfortable talking to anyone about it because it's, like, personal or you just don't want to stress people out, I'm here for you, girl. Okay? <laughs> for real. For real. And if you're, like, a, um, oh, well, they're not quite where they should be right now. But anyway, if you're, like, a young girl and you're, like, 14... Um, and you're pregnant. My niece, she got pregnant when she was 14. And I love my niece. She's graduated now and she's 15 or 16. Sorry, Egypt. I forgot. I haven't seen you in forever. But anyway. Um, but she ended up having a miscarriage. So the family, I, I, you know, we kind of were hoping. Just because the boyfriend... I didn't think was a suitable father. So, I mean, I'd hate to say that. But, you know, even my sister, she's like, God knows what he's doing. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. So, you know, just let it all work itself out. Okay. Um, you know, whatever is supposed to happen will probably happen. And, you know, 
you can work things out with your significant other if you love them but if it's stressing you out and if you're like constantly constantly like arguing and in a sore spot maybe it's time to call it quits you know but um um so anyway bitch i'm out of breath <laughs> but yeah um me and my boyfriend you know we're like if this keeps happening like if we keep arguing like this babe, we probably need to like you know yeah but uh I don't know I'm just so stressed out I, I cried in my shower last night and uh, it was a hard cry a hard ugly cry you know just one of those cries where you just let it all out yeah I needed that took a nice warm shower put my body scrub on while I cried <laughs> You know, sometimes you need to do that. And then I told myself, I gotta be strong. Because there's a baby in me. And this baby's probably feeling what I feel. And he's probably feeling my gut go like this. Heave back and forth while I fucking cry. And I'm like, okay, baby. I need to, I need to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. But anyway. You know, sometimes in relationships you need to like... Well, first of all, compromise is obviously something that you need to work on and respect respect is a big one and I feel like for me I could have been a lot more respectful because he's pretty respectful when we have arguments so I shouldn't be doing that you know but <sighs> I don't know I just I guess I get so angry but you know I need that's something I need to fix because obviously he doesn't like it and if it you know I, I don't want him to feel like I don't love him because I do it's just I don't know <laughs> but anyway you know people human beings aren't perfect you need to cut yourself some slack sometimes you know um and you need to understand like sometimes you are doing something wrong and sometimes you know you need to look at yourself and do some introspective work and really just kind of relax and look within and see what do I what am I doing wrong what do I need to work on you know especially if you want to make things work especially if you have a partner who's having a child with you and well yeah I don't know you know it's just a whole sh long shebang and I don't know what else to call it and that's how the baby was conceived. The schlong shebang. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I just sound like a white woman when I say that. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> that's irrelevant to this conversation. Oh, um, But, you know, today, you know, I cried. I apologized to my boyfriend over text last night because, you know, I apologized for everything that I did wrong. I was like, I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for this. I had a whole list, and I sent him a paragraph, and a paragraph, and a paragraph about what, what I was sorry about. And I told him what I wanted to work on, on myself. And then I also told him, you know, we could stay together if you love me. Because I do love you, okay? But... <sighs> You know, people get angry at, at each other sometimes, and relationships aren't perfect. Like, no relationship is perfect. That's just not, that's not reality. Human beings aren't perfect. You know, people make mistakes. People do things that will hurt you sometimes, even without meaning to. And honestly, you know, if you're a human being, you know, you probably hurt people without meaning to, too. So maybe you need to calm down and just relax. Get yourself a fucking matcha oat milk latte like me. I did that and I got me a cheese Danish bitch. And then I went to Wendy's and got some spicy nuggets and a Dave's single. But I only had one spicy nugget and a half. And I got full. Because um, I already ate my cheese Danish and my latte. And I can tell you like ever since I've been pregnant bitch. It's been so hard to eat. I don't know why. It's this fucking baby.
This baby is taking too much room in my belly. And I can't wait till it gets huge because, I mean, my stomach is already big. I mean, I did just eat and I had a big old latte this big, but still, you know, everything's going to be okay. Sometimes you just need to tell yourself that because you just need to relax, calm the fuck down. Whew, everything's going to be okay. Like I, I looked in the mirror last night and I looked at myself and I said, girl, everything's going to be okay because you're the only one who's going to stay with you your whole life. Well, almost, you know, unless you're like married forever, but you, you know, like if they die, then you, you know, you're still the only one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you got to have your own back sometimes, you know, and you need to know what's best for you. Um, you need to know what you want in a relationship. And if your partner can't respect your wishes and what you want and doesn't try to fix their, their problems, then, you know, that's in a sense, not respect. You know, if they don't try to improve themselves, then they're not working hard enough. Because <laughs> my boyfriend, he's done so much for me. Like, he really has. He's so sweet. And honestly, the fact that I did call him names, like, that was very rude and very wrong. And I shouldn't have done that. Because, honestly, that's just rude. And you shouldn't be rude to people you love. And that's really it. And I need to work on that. Like, I need to not do that. Like, period. <laughs> you know, but I guess I've just been in relationships in the past where there's like... <sighs> so, I don't know. He's very respectful, though, even when we argue. So, you know, he doesn't deserve that. And I know that. So, I need to, I need to simmer down. And I need to, you know, sometimes... You need to let the mind, you know, mind gears think and stay silent. You know, if you don't feel like saying anything nice, you need to stay silent. And that's something I need to work on because, you know, but sometimes when I do stay silent, he's like freaking out because I'm not texting and I'm, I'm like, what, what, I'm trying to calm down, you know? I'm trying to calm down, so I need you to respect that, and I need some space just for a little while so I can think, because sometimes you're just tired of the stress and you just need to relax and think. That's all. <laughs> That's all I need, bitch. Not forever, just for a few hours or a day, a half a day just to think, and that's all I want. You know, sometimes you need to communicate with your partner though, if that's what you're doing. You know, you need to say, hey, please respect that I need some space for a little while because I just, I just wanna relax and think a little bit. You know, I just need to relax and stop arguing because it's stressing me out. And that's what I was doing and then he was like upset at me for that. And I was like, oh, okay. But, you know, like I said, no relationship is perfect. And he is a very sweet, sweet man. And I am glad that, you know, I am having his baby. Because I do love him. I love him a lot. You know, he's done a lot for me. He's improved himself immensely for me. Like, from the beginning of our relationship to now which has been like seven months, I have seen a lot of maturity improvement and respect improvement and empathetic improvement. Um, he is like more comforting than he was at the beginning because at the beginning when I would cry, he wouldn't comfort me. He'd just kind of like leave. But like now he'll like sit there and tell me everything's going to be okay and he'll give me a hug and yeah. So, there's that. And then, what else? I don't know. He's just, he's a sweetie, and I really need to respect him more. Because, I don't know, maybe I'm just a bitch sometimes. You know, everyone's a bitch sometimes, everybody. 
if your girlfriend or if your boyfriend's being a bitch sometimes, you, you, everybody can be a bitch. You can be a bitch. Yeah. You can be a bitch. Your partner can be a bitch. Everyone can be a bitch. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know. It's just kind of like communication with your partner is key. Like, while being respectful. As respectful as you can just try and if you can't right now be respectful then take some time alone and 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 tell them hey I might need just a little bit of quiet space right now okay I just need a little bit of space so I can relax and because this is stressing me out just a little bit and I really would just like to have some time to myself so I can just relax so I can communicate with you better kind of thing yeah but um but yeah I really just feel like you know some people are very immature though like if you're younger and you have like a real immature boyfriend I don't know how that's gonna work but uh, you know if my boyfriend can change your boyfriend can change my boyfriend has even stopped smoking cigarettes for me and the baby which is actually insane. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck he did that, but he's doing it. Like, he started doing these little zen patches, and then after a while, he stopped doing those, and now he doesn't even smoke or do the patches. So I'm like, wow, okay. And then he even said he's gonna stop smoking pot, and I'm like, oh, well, that's your own decision. I'm like, that's all you, my dude, you know what I'm saying? I don't really smoke pot, like, I don't do that, but... I don't smoke cigarettes, I don't drink. He drinks beer, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so, you know, everything's gonna be okay. Um, your girl's here for you in spirit. You know, it's sometimes nice to just know that you're not the only one. You know, you're not the only one who's going through shit during pregnancy. I'm, I'm, I'm going through it too. And it may not be as bad as yours, but you know, everyone has their own individual experience. Everyone has, you know, relationship issues. But sometimes you need to relax and think about love and respect. And if you're having a child with this person, maybe it's a good, good idea to try and change for the better. You know, because this child is going to be both of your children. And I want to cry right now. <laughs> I want to cry. But um, it, this child's going to be both of your children. You know, it's going to be his child and your child. It's not just your child. It's going to be both of your child. And, you know, I feel like if two parents, even if they aren't, you know, together anymore... If they could still have, you know, respect and a friendship, then that's good. That's good enough. You know? And respect, like I said, is a key factor. Because this little baby is coming out of you and, you know, even if the daddy left, you know, maybe, maybe it's for the best. Who knows? I don't know what's going on, you know? We're all going through something. Okay. Well, let me know your story if you're going through anything. Um, if you feel like it. If you don't, well, you don't got to tell nobody, really. But hopefully, I said something that would help a little. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've been, I've been stressed out this week. You know, I, I don't want to go too into detail as to what happened. You know, I mean, I, I like to keep it a little private, like I said, but I am going through some stuff. You know, everyone's going through some stuff, you know, like, if you're married and you're going through some stuff while you're pregnant, I feel that, but I'm not married. But I, I, I feel that, you know? I do. Yeah. So, you know, everyone, don't, don't forget, you're not alone. Everyone is going through something. Even your partner <laughs> is going through something, okay? You know, I don't know. I, I just feel like maybe this message will help somebody. 
Maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll help somebody. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. But, um, I don't know. I just wanted to talk to somebody. I'm talking to myself, bitch. I'm talking to the camera. But, you know, like I said, maybe I'll help somebody. Maybe I'll give somebody some advice or something that they needed. Or maybe they just needed to hear that they needed to fix themselves and use the power of respect and communication. You know? Because, like I said, you are having a child with this person. So, I feel like, you know... To the best of your ability, try and better yourself because there's a child coming, <laughs> first of all. And second of all, if you want to stay together, you definitely have to try to better yourself if you're going through a rough patch. You know, especially, you need to listen to your partner. Like, you need to listen to your partner even if you think they're redonkulous. <laughs> because sometimes they think you're redonkulous. Okay? Sometimes you just need to listen, and you need to understand, I don't know, try your best, and try your best to, like, you know, look inside and see, you know, their perspective. You need to look and see their perspective. Maybe their perspective you can understand, but you just don't want to understand it. Maybe you do need to try to understand it. And maybe you need to try to fix it because there's a little baby on the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if you're like the father and you're watching this video, like, you know, like I said, I mean, it's the same concept. Respect, communication. Respect is the number one, in my opinion. Because, I don't know. It just, it helps secure friendship and everything. Just respect. You know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if your partner needs to learn some respect, well, you should still try your best to treat them with respect, even if it hurts you. But if it's hurting you that bad and they're just an awful person, well, that's a totally different thing right there, you know? And if you're not doing anything wrong and it's kind of abusive, well, I'm not going through abuse right now, you know, but I have way, way in the past, like years and years ago, six years ago in my ex-relationship, I went through some physical abuse. Now, my current boyfriend, he's, he's never done anything like that, and he's always, you know, been respectful, so I'm lucky, but I've also changed as a person, and I feel like, you know, sometimes people need to just work on themselves a lot of the time and respect their partner's perspective on the situation but yeah that's really it everybody so thank you so much for watching i hope i helped and i'll see y'all in the next video goodbye